Hello and welcome to H.O. Clemens Arena as we are just about set here courtside with UAPB hosting Alabama A&M. Always a great matchup between these two teams. Alabama A&M comes from Huntsville, Alabama. UAPB, of course, well, you know where they're from right here. Gold home jerseys, black lettering for the Golden Lions, Burgundy Road jerseys for the visiting Bulldogs. I'm Tim Stubbs, glad to be with you once again as we wrap up this three-game homestand. UAPB's trying to salvage the final game as they had big leads both against Valley and against Alabama State and let them both slip away. Now they'll try to salvage the final one here against Alabama A&M. Opening tip is going to go to the Bulldogs. And one of the main reasons for that is six foot ten Nicholas West jumping there and he is long and lean. He got the opening tip and the Bulldogs will have it as we start this basketball game. Running the point is Rakia Battle. Left side battle. Gets it to West. Patient in their half court set here on the opening possession. Tab's shot is blocked at the free throw line. Mosley now comes away with it in transition. Little hesitation dribble up and under with the left hand, no good. But he's fouled on the way to the basket and he's going to shoot two free throws. A really nifty move there by Marcel Mosley, who averaging almost 18 points a ball game. Had another good one, 21 points in his last contest. The senior from Marion, Arkansas at the line for two shots. First win lips out on him, no good. As we are just underway here. Second free throw a little bit too strong, no good. Back on the other end. After the two missed free throws by Mosley, the Bulldogs have it. Still no score here at 40 seconds into the ball game. Cross court pass, tab. Now West, a step back, 17 footer, no good. Battle for the rebound, Hanley's got it for Pine Bluff. He'll push it in transition, middle of the court. Right down the lane, goes up a little floater off the glass, no good. Gets his own rebound and a tie up situation, alternating possession will keep it with Pine Bluff. So 19.02 to go, just underway, just 58 seconds fresh into this one and no score so far. Hanley, top of the key, they'll set it up with Mosley here in the half court set. Now Hammond will take over. Hammond's got it out high, picked up by Battle, works it right side of the floor, outside of the three point line, gets a screen from Love. Now Love gets it back, he wants to back his man down. A little soft shot up about 10 feet out. He's fouled and he'll shoot two. So Javon Love will go to the line here. He had a, a real nice game as well in that tough three point loss to Alabama State, in which UAPB had a 19 point first half lead and end up losing it late. First free throw rolls around, no good. So the Gold Lions so far, 0 of 3. From the foul line, Love missed them both. 0 of 4 in the Golden Lions. Still scoreless. So are the Bulldogs, but the Golden Lions have missed four free throws in the first minute and a half here. Flashing out high right side, Ladarius Tab. Now back to battle. Battle trying to get it to Davis on the block. Kick out, Tab spots up for three, no good. Hammond's got the rebound for Pine Bluff. He'll push it ahead. Hammond holds his dribble out high. Still no score nearly two minutes into the game here. Golden Lions jumped down to a 22-3 lead in the last game against Alabama State. 15 on the shot clock. Mosley likes to clear out in these situations. Picked up by Battle. Big screen there from Barry. And the three-pointer is good. Marcel Mosley off the, the screen and had an open space and knocked in the three. So after the Golden Lions missed four free throws, Mosley 
hits the three. There's a lob and going up for the jam. And missing it was Ladarius Tab. He's one of the big leapers in the conference. And the big fellow, West tried to throw the lob to him, and he caught it and almost threw down what would have been a spectacular dunk. But he was fouled on the play, and he's going to shoot two free throws. First shot coming up here for Tab. In and out, no good. Alabama A&M closed out UAPB season with a victory in the SWAC tournament in Houston last season. And he misses both free throws. So UAPB up 3-0, Hammond the rebound for Pine Bluff. He'll bring ahead right side, now works it back left side of the floor, still with his dribble, picks it up. Mosley right side, looks for a screen from Love. Mosley inside to Barry, shot up off the glass, too strong, no good. Rebound Bulldogs. In transition, left side, Tab inside to West. West works on Barry, goes up with the right hand, misses it. Battle for the rebound, Love snatches it away. Love right side to Mosley here. UAPB up 3-0, 16.50 to play first half. Hammond will come out high and get it now. Right side of the floor. Now works it back left. Looking inside for Barry. Now Love will flash out and get it towards the top of the key. Puts it on the deck. Leans in, shot up a little too strong from about 10 feet out. Hanley offensive rebound, and he gets the stick back. And that's what Alabama State was killing UAPB with in the last ball game. All the offensive rebounds and stick backs, they out-rebounded UAPB 39-21 to in that game. It was the difference. And it's going to be a reach-in foul. Like a pretty good little trap there around midcourt and nearly turned him over. It's going to be on Hammond, his first team foul, number two. UAPB up 5 nothing in this one. 16-15 to play here early first half. Battle. Right side. Now Battle will get it back. He's got West at the foul line. Now he'll kick it out. Davis as they work it right side to Hutchinson. Three right side will not go for Tyler Davis. Offensive rebound, West has it for the Bulldogs. Trent Whiting and Giovanni Robinson up off the bench for UAPB. Here's West, leans in, some contact, no call from 10 feet out, and Barry secures the rebound. Letting them play underneath the basket for sure. UAPB with the basketball here, leading 5 0. 15 20 to go, first half. Here's Hammond, the blow by in the lane. Little floater with one hand, no good. The tip not there for Love, and the rebound pulled down by the Bulldogs. They want to push it ahead and transition. And a little floater's no good, but the tip is there for West. And the Bulldogs are on the board. Took them nearly five minutes, but they get their first points of the game. It's now 5 2 UAPB. And then with the basketball, working on battle. Battle in there tight. Defensive pressure now to Mosley right side. He'll crank up a three. And bounces all over the rim, but doesn't go in. Rebound west. Here come the Bulldogs. In transition, battle is going to be fouled. And they're going to get a Hammond with the body check down the floor. And that's going to lead us to our first media timeout here with 14.42 to play. First half, UAPB up early 5-2 over Alabama A&M right back in a moment. Time to wake up. <laughs> I've got a job to do today. I've got a job to do today. Don't forget, you've got a job to do today. Hey, Mom. I got the job. <laughs> Thanks. Got the job. Welcome aboard. Have a good first day at work, Mom. Your donations to Goodwill fund job training programs right in your community. Feels good to start fresh, right? Sure does. 
And like that, you're a job creator. Back inside of H.O. Clemens Arena here. Bulldogs will inbound it. Trailing UAPB 5-2. 14.30 to play here in the first half. Top of the key, Davis now left side tab. Nearly lost it, gets it back to Davis. They'll reset it here with 15 on the shot clock. Davis, top of the key, picked up by Mosley. Keeps his dribble, now Battle's got it. Battle picks up his dribble out high, Robinson's on him. Now they'll get it in the corner to Tab. Five to shoot. Battle passes up the shot. Tab will crank up a three. Too strong, no good. Giovanni Robinson, the rebound for Pine Bluff. Six minutes in, 5-2. Good guys on top. Mosley. Right side, Robinson, and there's a foul on the floor. Legal screen going to be called on the Golden Lions. Turnover, gives it back to UAPB here. Robinson in transition. Top of the key to Mosley. Whiting has checked into the ball game. Also checking in for UAPB. Chauncey Parker, 6'8", 225, junior from West Memphis. It's in his first action. Whiting out high, 13 to shoot. Top of the key, Robinson. Penetration kick out to Mosley. Mosley, nice little cutting move, but going to get a calling for a travel. Boy, but that was still a very silky smooth move by Marcel Mosley. He can just create his own shot, knife his way in the lane with the best of them. Backdoor lob for West, and the big 6'10 center couldn't throw it down. Lost the handle a bit. Whiting's got it for Pine Bluff. Still 5-2 UAPB, 12.45 to go. Very slow start offensively in this game for both teams. Robinson with his dribble, gets a screen from Parker. Now he'll rise and fire for three. Too strong, no good. Whiting up high for the offensive rebound and a left-handed stick back. 7-2, UAPB by five, Whiting with a nice offensive rebound and bucket. Battle runs the point here for the Bulldogs, holds his dribble, walks it right side of the floor. Now back top of the key to Davis. 12 to shoot, A&M getting late into their offensive set here. Battle on the baseline, Re ball reversal kick out for three is good. Tyler Davis, the junior from Madison, Alabama, knocks it in. Makes it 7-5, cuts the lead to two for UAPB. First three-point basket for the Bulldogs. Both teams have hit a three so far. Parker left side to Whiting. Now on the baseline, Love looking down low to Parker. Parker's got it on the block, goes up with the right hand, no good. Battle for the rebound, West gets the loose ball. And the Bulldogs ahead quickly, right side. In the corner, Tab will spot up for three, no good. And Robinson has the rebound, pushes it ahead for Pine Bluff. Quicker pace now. Needs some help. Coming out to get it is Mosley. He'll set it up out high near, near uh, midcourt here. Still holds his dribble. Parker on the screen left. Now Mosley will take the three and rims out on him. Had a good look at it off the screen from Parker. Here's Battle in the lane, trying to do a little dump off pass to Tab, who was running the baseline, but it was blocked and stolen away. Love will spot up for three. Rims out, no good. Offensive rebound and a lot of contact. Mosley hit the deck, no call. And here come the Bulldogs now. Really letting them play. There's been Six total fouls called in the first 10 minutes, but a good flow. 
Although not much scoring, just seven to five, our score nearly halfway through the first half here. Another three for Davis, he hits again. Tyler Davis rips the net on that one. And 8-7, the Bulldogs now after a back-to-back three-pointers by Tyler Davis have given the Bulldogs their first lead of the game, up 8-7. to seven. Here's Mosley right side. Love wants to post up. Now he's got West on him. Strong drive underneath the basket goes up and spins it in with the right hand as he took a shot to the face there around the eye area. Could have been an and one, but a very athletic move as he put a little English on it and spun it in off the glass. And we got a media timeout, I believe, here. We'll step aside, 9.42 to play. Yes, 9.42 to play, 9 to 8. UAPB leads by one over Alabama A&M. A single ember that escapes from a wildfire can travel more than a mile. That single ember can ignite and destroy your home or even your community. You can't control where that ember will land, only what happens when it does. Get Fire Adapted now at fireadapted.org. Hey, going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, <laughs> what would the neighbors think? <laughs> Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing. We're just playing. I'm trying to get you out of here. Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. 9.42 remaining in this one. It's nine to eight, one point lead for the Bulldogs. And they'll miss a three here left side. Just checked into the ball game was Baron Houston and he misses the three. UAPD gets it back leading by one. Just over nine remaining here in the first half. Jordan Brown checks in during the timeout as well. Along with McIntyre, here's Whiting on the baseline. Backs his man down, gives it to Brown. Back out to Whiting, passes up the shot. Now Mosley has it, he'll set it up with 12 on the shot clock. Also, Jalen Floyd in the game. They give it to Floyd inside, he's fouled. Floyd will go to the line for a couple of shots here. But now on the floor, you got Brown, Floyd, Mosley, Whiting, and McIntyre. Outside of Mosley, four subs in the game here. Looked like he was shooting, to be honest with you. And Whiting, I mean, Floyd rather, looked like he was going up for the shot. No pass it inbounded here. Close to midcourt. Mosley's got it out high, now Brown. Cross court pass to Mosley. Looks for a screen from Floyd. Now Mosley, a little shake and bake there. Holds his dribble. Here's Whiting on the little cut in the lane and the little 10 footer goes for Trent Whiting. Little two man game there with Mosley on the assist. Eight and a half to go before halftime. 11 to eight in this low scoring first half. UAPB leads by three. Merriweather right side to Davis. Now Edwards. Back to Merriweather. Back and forth they play a little two-man ball here. Now Merriweather's got it to blow by. Pull up 15 footer is good. Left side of the floor, Merriweather. Makes it 11 to 10. Eight minutes to go here before halftime. Floyd to Mosley and a good Deflection and a steal by Davis, quickly ahead in transition. Edwards goes up for the shot and blocked out of bounds by Jalen Floyd. And with 7.47 to play, we'll step aside with a media timeout here. 
UAPB 11, Alabama 8M 10, 747 to go before halftime. Hey everybody, heart disease affects one in every three women in America, but you can fight back. There's no time to lose. Mothers, sisters, daughters, families, and friends, it's time to shout louder, stand stronger, and demand change. Let's go! To the Batmobile! Dang it. To the invisible jet! Dang it. Together, we can put an end to heart disease. It's time to go red for women. I could use your help. Yeah! Learn more from the American Heart Association at www.goredforwomen.org. For those dealing with the daily struggles of caring for a loved one, we hear you. That's why AARP created a community with experts and other caregivers to help us better care for ourselves and the ones we love. Seven forty-seven to go here before halftime. The Bulldogs will inbound it. UAPB leading by one, 11 to 10. In this low scoring first half here. Good hands, Whiting with a steal. Nice hands there as Davis looked away to pass it and Whiting just picked it and stole it from him. Here's Whiting goes up with the left hand in the lane and Trent Whiting now with six points off the bench. And he's feeling some momentum here and giving the Gold Lions a spark. He's got six of the 13. 13 to 10, UAPB by three. Trying to close out. Three point shot, no good by Merriweather. UAPB in transition, Mosley. He'll set it up seven minutes before halftime here. UAPB leads by three. Here's Whiting again on the right block. Nice post goes up with the left hand off the glass and good. And Trent Whiting has got eight first half points. And right now he is. The go-to man for UAPB. 15 to 10. As Whiting has improved his game from year to year here, UAPB's gotten stronger and more confident. And flash for a steal there and almost had it. Right side, they'll work it here. Davis in the corner. West, the big fella, spots up and hits a three in the corner. Six foot 10 and Hits the big three. 15 13. Two point lead for the gold line. Six minutes to go before halftime. Here's Whiting again. Whiting backing his man down. Needs some help. Kicks it out. Here's Mosley. Little hesitation. Needs help. Going to get called for traveling. And Javon. Love is going to come back into the ball game, and it's got that right nostril plugged up as he got popped in the face a minute ago. Whiting will check out of the game. Boy, but he sparked the Gold Lions with eight points off the bench during that stretch. Gave UAPB and Coach Ivory some great minutes. UAPB leads by two here, 15-13. Five and a half to go before halftime. Top of the key, Colvin. Left side, West getting trapped in the corner, needs some help. Trying to get it back, a little give and go between West and Merriweather, and it's gonna be a foul, a charge. It's going to be on West. Fifteen, thirteen, Gold Lions by a deuce with the basketball. Here is Mosley. Looks for a screen from Love. Little pick and roll there. Love's got it on the left block. Drives down low. Tries to go up and under, and he's fouled. And he lost his, his nose plug there. As it, 
They just kick it off the floor, but if there's any blood, he'll have to get that taken care of. I believe they've got it taken care of. Houston with the foul there. That's his first team foul number five on the Bulldogs, but this will be two shots here for Jovan Love. With 4.56 to go before half. 6'9", 220 junior from right here in Pine Bluff. Misses the free throw. He's now 0 of 3 from the foul line. Averages 11 points, five boards a game, and he makes the second. Now has three in the first half here. Lead up to three here for the Golden Lions, 16-13. Left side, nearly a steal, and Tab drives the left baseline. He's fouled in the shoot two as Handley went for the steal and went selling and sliding way out of bounds over here. Two free throws coming up here for Tab. That foul was on Love. That's his first team foul number five. And first shot is good. And second one is good. Makes it a one-point game again. UAPB leads 16-15. Four and a half to go here before half. Marcel Mosley off a screen. Mosley, the little floater, actually it was a pass. A little lob to Love, and he taps it in off the glass. Lead back to three. Right side, Tab now to Colvin, back to Tab. U UAPB in this zone defense, they get it inside. Merriweather goes up with a left hand and scores. Forty-one to go before halftime. 18-17. UAPB by a point. Here's McIntyre. The blow by off the glass. No good. Battle for the rebound. And Colvin's got it. McIntyre almost had the steal. Now they'll set it up as the Bulldogs look to regain the lead here. Now they'll set it up with Merriweather, top of the key here with 15 on the shot clock. Works it right side, now back to West, almost a steal. Mosley just missed it. Tab's got it, seven to shoot. They'll set it up top of the key here, Merriweather. And it's gonna be a foul McIntyre as he got into the body of Merriweather. And we're gonna have a media timeout here with 2.57 to play. Before halftime, the Golden Lions in a dogfight with the Bulldogs, 18-17, one-point lead for UAPB. Back in a moment. There are a million places you'd never consider texting. So why would you do it while driving? Leave risky driving to the professionals. Stop the techs, and together we can stop the wrecks. Being a dad can be tough. No, no, no. What do you mean she's not coming? When's the fairy princess coming? Any minute now. <laughs> but when you're willing to do anything... It is I, Krugs, Zink or Bell. Yeah. Okay, time for cake. It's always worth it. I know it's really you, Drew. I'm just pretending for the other kids. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4-DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. 
NFC, AFC, offensive linemen, defensive tackles, quarterbacks, and cornerbacks are all living united to ensure the academic success of millions of kids in our communities all the way to graduation day. But that won't happen without you. So take the pledge at unitedway.org. Make a difference in the life of a child. Suit up like your favorite NFL players and become a volunteer reader, tutor, or mentor with United Way. It's not his new group of friends. It's not the video games. It's not the neighborhood. Mom, do I have to go to school today? The biggest threat to your child's future could be you. Every day they miss, even in middle school, puts their graduation at risk. Two fifty-six to go as we inbound the basketball here. 18-17. And shot blocked underneath. Golden Lions will get it back, leading by one. 2.40 to go before halftime. Mostly the blow by and the finger roll. How sweet was that? As he about crashes right into Randy Kelly underneath the basket. Lead back to three now for the Golden Lions. Left side, thought about the three. Colvin now kicks it back. As they lob it to Tav on the baseline, he just throws up a wild shot. And almost saving it was Whiting, and I believe it would have been UAPB ball if they wouldn't have messed it up down there on the baseline. 2.03 to go before halftime. UAPB leads 20 to 17. Colvin, the inbound to Tav, rise and fire for three. It's short, no good. Hanley snatches down the rebound. He'll push it ahead and transition behind the back dribble. Goes up with the floater, too strong, no good. Here come the Bulldogs back on the other end, wasting no time. Colvin goes up with the floater, misses it. On rebound and now tangled up here with Hanley. And they're going to get a foul on Hanley. And Colvin, I believe, is going to shoot two shots here. So Hanley Jr., that's his first team foul, number seven. First shot, bounces around, falls through, and good. And second shot is good, so makes it a one-point game after Colvin's two free throws. Mosley holds it out high, right side of the floor. Now trying to get it left side, and they're going to get a five-second defending violation there as they were within the area. Timeout UAPB will keep it here. But a five-second call on Mosley will turn it back over. 1.29 to go before halftime. The slow scoring first half. UAPB leading 20 to 19. Bulldogs for the basketball can regain the lead here on this possession. A trail by one. West back to Merriweather. 
Now West trying to penetrate the zone defense. Cross court pass stolen away. Mosley flashes for it in transition, and Mosley is going to get called for traveling. Lots of contact there as he got tangled up with West. One oh eight to go. Mosley's going to check out. They had a good opportunity there in transition. Under a minute to play here before halftime. UAPB by one, 20 to 19. Long three, top of the key for Davis. This time, no good. Love up high for the rebound. Shot clock, game clock about five seconds apart. UAPB up one, here's Hammond. Trying to dump it down low to Hanley. Instead, Whiting is going to take the jumper. Too strong on this one. Battle for the rebound, lost out by AM. So to stay with UAPB with 11 on the clock here. And shot clock is off. UAPB can hold for the final shot, leading by one. to pull Hammond out of the game and bring Mosley back in. Hanley on the inbound to Mosley, the kick out. Whiting passes up the three. Back to Mosley, he'll take the three, no good. Barry's got the offensive rebound. Hanley will have to take the three. It's no good at the buzzer. So we are at halftime and if ice cold shooting for both teams here in this low scoring first half, but UAPB will take a 20 to 19 lead at the break over Alabama A&M. Second half coming up for you shortly. Underway here in the second half. 20 to 19 UAPB for the one point advantage as we start the second half of play with Alabama AM regaining the lead on the opening possession. The big fella, the center, West, with the basket. Nicholas West, the junior from LaGrange, Georgia. 21 20. Here's Hammond. He'll stop and pop and hit from about 19, just inside the three-point line. And the Golden Lions seesaw back ahead, 22-21. First minute of the second half here, anybody's ball game. A very low scoring, poor offensive half really for both teams, having a hard time putting it in the basket. But give credit to both defenses as well. Nine on the shot clock here. And going up for the shot, rejected, erased by Barry. He's given some good minutes tonight. Got the start tonight. Love the rebound. Here's Love, a little hesitation dribble. He'll pull up from 16 and hits. Jovan Love. Love now with seven in the game. 
Golden Lions back on top here, 24-21, minute and a half into the second half. There's a trap. Hanley gets pushed down to the ground, deflected by Barry, and they'll get it underneath. Looked like an easy two for Hutchinson, but Mosley strips it out of bounds. Down low, West going up for the dunk, and he's going to be fouled underneath the basket. And they're going to get Barry. Barry with the foul. Second shot's good as well. So 24 23. Both free throws good for West. Hammond will bring it across midcourt. Golden Lions leading by one here. 17.50 to go, second half. And pull up jumper is good again. Hammond, two in a row. 26 23. Quickly back on the other end. Davis misses the open three, and Love clears the rebound. One and done quickly there. Here's Hammond, the blow by, and he'll go in with a left hand. Hammond with six quick points here in the first three minutes of the second half. West thought about the three. He'll pass it up. Now they're working around the perimeter here. Battle will set up. UAPB's lead up to five here. 28-23. Neither team with... A bigger lead than the five that UAPB currently holds. Rise and fire, Davis connects his third three of the game, Tyler Davis. He's got nine points all from three point range. And a turnover, or is it? Nope, yeah it is. George Ivory was wanting a foul called Instead, they're going to get the turnover right in front of the UAPB sideline. Giovanni Robinson checks in for Mosley. Battle now to Tab, back to Battle. Right side to Davis. Hutchinson needs help. He's trapped in the corner. And a timeout called by the Alabama Alabama A&M bench there. Head coach Willie Hayes fearing a turnover was about to happen. Caught a timeout with 21 on the shot clock. 16-26 to go. UAPB leading by a deuce. 28-26. Golden Lions really need this victory. Three game homestand here to start off SWAC play and they lost the first two and had leads of 15 points or more in both of them. And let them slip away. No big leads tonight, but they had led for the majority of the ball game, except for a couple of times where A&M seesawed ahead. They currently lead 28-26 here with 16-26 to play. comes in at two and one. They had a 70 to 67 loss to Jackson State to open up swag play before blowing out Grambling 67-46 and then beat Valley by 13 in Itabina, which is impressive. 
Golden Lions up by two here against the Bulldogs. 28-26, a little over 16 to play. Battle has it, right side, whistle, foul underneath, and Hutchinson was knocked to the ground. It looked like they're going to get Love with the hold underneath. And that's going to be Javon's second. Left side. Step back jumper will not go for Hutchinson. It's West went for the rebound and lost it out of bounds. And we got a media timeout here. We'll step aside with 15.49 to play second half. UAPB 28, Alabama A&M 26. And then from this angle, it all makes a star. I'm a teacher. Let me tell you what I make. I make learning a privilege, not a chore. And frustration, a tool, not an obstacle. I make working hard seem easy and giving up impossible. And then we're going to turn the lights and everybody look up. I make an old subject feel like a fresh thought. What's your reaction? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And unconventional methods. Uh, okay, what else? Common. This is their world. There's nothing. I'm going to Go ahead. Go, go, go. I'm a teacher. I make more. Fifteen forty-six and counting here. 28-26, UAPB by a deuce with the basketball. Second half of play, low scoring game. Hammond looks for a screen, now he'll drive and kick out. Hanley passes up the three, strong drive to the basket and misses the layup. Here comes A&M in transition, good hands. Hammond got a hand on it, deflected it. Taken away here by Robinson, UAPB pushes it ahead. Hammond spots up for three and Spins out on him, had a good look at it. He's had the hot hand with six second half points in the first five minutes. Battle with the drive, now he'll kick it back out, right side to tab. Hutchinson needs some help and throws it away. Backcourt violation. I don't know why it took them so long to make the call, but it's going to be UAPB basketball. With 14.49 to go. The Gold Lions will inbound it, leading by two. Hammond has his dribble right side. Now Robinson will rise and fire from the corner. No good. Look out below. Joe Von Love smashes down the one-handed rebound, put back jam. Big time stuff right there. Here on the other end, quick miss. And off to the races again, the Golden Lions go. Whiting will set it up to Hammond. But Joe Von Love just showed some serious Elevation skills right there. His whole arm was breathing down the rim. That was impressive. 30-26, UAPB by four with some momentum here. Robinson firing for three, misses everything, and he's off a bit right now. Rebound, Bulldogs in transition. Fifteen to shoot. Davis. Now left side to battle, battle. Cross court pass deflected, nearly stolen. 
Merriweather almost threw it away. Now Davis will have to fire up an off balance three off the glass, no good, but the putback is there for West. Thirty twenty-eight UAPB by two. Approaching 13 minutes left here in the second half. Robinson, top of the key. Love. Looks for a screen. Now trying to give it to Love on the little pick and pop there, and he threw it away. Hammond did. Davis for three, not this time. Battle for the rebound, West has it. Merriweather with the right hand off the glass, too strong, Whiting clears the board. Here comes Hammond, pushes it ahead, top of the key, looks for a screen from Love. Now right side to Whiting, the give, and then the big jam by David Tillman. The 6'10 sophomore from Houston, Texas. Throws it down with a great assist by Whiting. That's good basketball. Your APB up 32-28. Working around the perimeter here in the corner. West passes up the three as Tillman closed out on him. Seven on the shot clock. Now West will pass it up again and throws it away. And UAPD forces a turnover, and we'll get it back. We're going to have a media timeout here. We will step aside with 11.32 to go. The Golden Lions starting to play more consistently as a team here. They lead 32-28 with 11.32 to play second half. Full life measured in seats starts with the right ones early on. Car crashes are a leading killer of children 1 to 13. Learn how to prevent deaths and injuries by using the right car seat for your child's age and size. As we come back here into H.O. Clemens Arena, take another look at the replay on the putback dunk by Love. He elevated way up above the rim off that miss by Robinson to throw it down with the emphatic one-handed put-back jam. Here's Robinson off a curl. 17-footer, too strong, no good. Quick rebound. And A&M with the basketball here, trailing by four. Backdoor lob and the dunk for Tab, and that's what he does best, as he can get up with the best of them for sure. 32-30, been a little bit of a dunk contest here in the last couple of minutes for both teams now. Flashing for a steal, Tab nearly had it, now Love's gonna get it back. 
Inside to Whiting. Whiting goes up with the left hand. A little bit too strong on this one. Had a good look at it. It's a shot he normally hits right there. In the corner tab, he'll fire the three. Hits in Alabama A&M. Now on top by one, 33-32 as we go back and forth. Good basketball game. Hammond with the ball out high, still holds his dribble. Works on Merriweather. That's going to be a hand check on Merriweather, trying to keep Hammond in front of him. With 10-14 remaining now, you're going to have Barry and Mosley check in along with Hanley and Tillman, Love, and Robinson check out. Here's the inbound. Now Hammond in the lane. Gets it back to Barry. Couldn't handle the pass. And loses it here. A steal by Tab in transition. Battle. Needs some help. Gets it to West. Left side to Davis. Now they'll set it up. 25 on the shot clock. Here's West, strong move to the basket with a left hand. He can't finish. Hammond the rebound, pushes it ahead for Pine Bluff. Picked up by Merriweather, close to midcourt here. Hammond still has his dribble. Left side to Mosley. Posting up is Whiting. Whiting is going to get called for palming the basketball. A call you rarely see anymore, but as he was trying to back down his man and get position on the block, called for carrying and palming the ball. Here's West. Strong move up and under. Knocked out of bounds by Whiting. 16 on the shot clock. Long backcourt pass here. Battle has to chase and get it. West shot blocked and the put back no good. Loose basketball on the baseline. Timeout called by AM. With 8.56 to play. Thirty-three, thirty-two. UAPB down by one now. Eight fifty-six to play. Gold Lions led by one at halftime. Neither team has led by more than five in the game. Set for the inbound here. Hanley kicks it out of bounds. Literally right into the cheerleading squad. Davis trying to inbound. He's going to go deep. Mosley was thinking about playing the role of Richard Sherman there and try to pick it off. Left side, now in the lane, that's a walk. They got away with it. Back out to battle, left side. Firing for three in the corner, this time no good by Tab. Barry, the strong rebound in traffic down there, and he nearly traveled with it himself. Here is Hammond. Holding it out high. We approach the eight minute mark of the ball game here. Mosley, picked up by Battle. Mosley, a little crossover in the lane. The floater is good. How sweet was that? Mosley, oh, near still here, and it is. Great play by Trent Whiting, flashing for the ball and knocked it off of the chest of Tyler Davis and out of bounds, UAPB ball. Great hustle play by Trent Whiting.
Anley has the basketball out high left side, puts it on the floor, strong drive. Draws hard contact as he goes flying out of bounds. Missed the shot, but he'll shoot two here. We'll have a media timeout with 7.46 remaining in the ball game. UAPB back on top now, 34-33, anybody's ball game. Right back in just a moment. My mama always said, life is like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're gonna get. Lions, tigers, bears, oh my. I am Spartacus. You had me at hello. You had me at hello. I could have been a contender. You can't handle the truth. E.T. Ball home. Then let me take that you can go. Goes.org. Hanley Jr. to the line here for two shots. First shot is good. Three points in the ball game now for Thaddeus Hanley Jr. Junior, 6'6", six, six Junior from Pine Bluff. Misses the second. UAPB leads 35-33. 7.40 remaining in the ball game here. Low scoring game, starting to get late. Top of the key, Battle's got it. Goes right side to Colvin, back to Battle. Battle will take a rare shot as he takes the three here and misses. Battle for the rebound and West is fouled. Gonna get Hanley Jr. There's the inbound, Tab, he'll take another three and hits again. Tab, Darius Tab. He's got 10 in the game. And his second three in the second half that's put his team ahead. 36-35 Bulldogs. Mosley with the basketball, looks for a screen from Barry, gets it. The drive by, a little fadeaway 10-footer will not go. Battle for the rebound, lost out by the Lions. 6.55 to play. Joe Vaughn loves set to check back in the ball game here. Bringing the basketball up slowly is Battle. Left side to Colvin. Trying to penetrate this UAPB zone defense. Here's Battle, spin. Trying to lob it to West, so the tip off the glass, no good. Love has it, pushes it the other way. Now Hammond will hold it out high here. A little over six minutes remaining. Gold Lions down by one. Driving baseline up and under, and Hammond blows the layup. Would have been a difficult make, but one he can definitely hit right there. Here's West. Goes up strong to the basket and gets it inside, and a three-point Bulldog lead. West now with 13 in the game. Trent Whiting has it, out high, left wing here, now to Hanley, right side. They're working around the perimeter, now inside to Love, strong move underneath the basket, and puts a little English on it, counted and one. Five twenty-seven to go. 
Love a chance to tie the game at 38 here. And misses the free throw. Tab up high for the rebound. Bulldogs have it leading by one, 520 to play. And three point shot is good by Justin Colvin. And the Bulldogs starting to knock in some of these Jays now, 41-37. Four point lead, five to go. Golden Lions with the basketball, Mosley. Looks for a screen here from Hanley. Step back dribble now, has to give it up with 15 on the shot clock. Love here on the baseline, can't save it, and a turnover. And the Gold Lions struggling offensively here, and they turn it over. The Bulldogs have the momentum right now with 4.47 to go. UAPB needs some stops, and they need to start scoring the ball offensively. They've hit a little cold snap here. Long three left side. Colvin again, back-to-back -back threes. And just like that, it's a seven-point Alabama A&M lead, their largest lead of the game. 44-37 as Justin Colvin, the junior from Lithonia, Georgia, hits back-to-back -back triples and it goes from a one-point game to a seven-point game. And the Golden Lions got some work to do. They want to avoid an 0-3 start in conference play. Just 4.27 to go. Timeout on the floor by George Ivory. We have a media timeout coming up after the four-minute mark. Mostly a bring it up for UAPB. Down by seven here, almost four minutes to play. Back to Mosley. Mosley driving in the lane, pull up, 10-footer, good. Marcel Mosley. Now with 11 in the game in double figures now. Averaging 17 of all game. 44-39, UAPB down five, 3.50 to go. Now close out on Colvin, he's hit back-to-back -back threes. Here's West, pump fake back out to Colvin. This time they do a much better job on him, but a little ball fake, he'll pull up for 17-footer and hits again as Colvin stares over at the student section. And he's got eight points here in the last couple of minutes, giving his team a 46-39 lead. 3.20 to go. Mosley to Love now. Love left side of the floor. A kick out to McIntyre. Now Whiting. Whiting turns, spins. Back to Hanley for the lay-in. And assist by Whiting. 46-41. Good ball recognition. And Whiting put Hanley in a good spot to score there. 2.55 to go, getting late. Backdoor lob, going up for the dunk. This time, Tab couldn't handle it. Ball loose on the floor. Tab gets it back, and he's fouled. Two free throws coming up, a missed opportunity for the Golden Lions there. And we'll have a media timeout here with 2.47 left in the game. Getting late, 46-41, Alabama and m leading UAPB by five. You make me wear my bike helmet. You taught me never to run with scissors. You tell me to stay away from drugs. To always buckle my seatbelt. And to follow the swimming rules. You're always looking out for me and trying to keep me safe. So why do you keep a loaded gun in your drawer? Here in the garage. Closet. Shoe box under the bed. Where anyone can get to it. How safe is that? How safe is that? How safe is that? You ask them to follow some safety rules. Now they're asking you. In fact, they're counting on you. Never let your gun get into the wrong hands. 
If you own a firearm and are not using it, please be responsible and be sure that it's stored in a safe place. Remember, always lock it up. For more information on firearm storage safety, visit ncpc.org. 247 left. Not much time. The Golden Lions got a lot of work to do. Tab at the line for two shots here. First one is no good. Rims out. Alabama A&M leading 46-41. 247 to go. One more free throw coming up. For Ladarius Tab, the junior from Newborn, Georgia. Missed it. Or Newborn, Alabama, rather. Missed both free throws. Those are big. Golden Lions got to cash in here. Robinson, Whiting, Mosley, Love, and Hanley Jr. in the game. Here's Mosley, top of the key. Little ball fake. Goes up with the left hand off the glass and scores. it. Boy, he just can knife his way to the basket and pretty much get that anytime he wants. 46-43, 13 points. 13 in the game for Mosley and a three-point deficit for UAPB. But they got a stop. In a basket, need some more of those. Two minutes to play. West passes up the three. Little floater and a charge, I believe it is. Anley Jr. sets up for the charge and West gets called. That's the second on West and just the fourth team foul. 18 minutes into the second half, there's only 14 fouls on each team. The inbound here, UAPB, just under two to play, down by three. Big possession. Hanley's going to go all the way and score it with the right hand. He took it right to West. And it's a one-point game, 6-0 run here by UAPB. 140 to play. Need a stop here. Battle now left side. It's going to be Tab, the jumper. Not this time. Up high for the rebound. It's loose on the baseline. West got it, but did he step out? Maybe a timeout called. Timeout called. Timeout by Alabama A&M with 1.26 left in the game. Leading by one. This is going to be another one of those tight finishes for sure. The Gold Lions have lost both home games by a total of six points. Lost by three to... They've got the base jacked up here with this new Bose system in the uh, hyper. <laughs> and everybody can feel that for sure. Well, the Golden Lions trying to scratch out a win here. Not sure what the conversation is between the officials. Trying to see what the shot clock is here. And it had reset to, to 35, but they need to figure out where it was when they called the timeout because some time had ran off. Right now they got it set at 20 with 126 to go, and that's where AM will inbound it as soon as we are ready to play here. So here we go, 46-45, A&M by one with the basketball. Here's West on the inbound, gets a shot blocked, but a whistle and a foul. They were wanting a goaltend, but he's going to get two free throws. 
They'll talk about it. Yeah, get two free throws here. So West to the line, he's got 13 in the game. Trying to give his team a two point lead. He misses the first free throw. And he's got one more coming up. And makes the second. So UAPB will inbound it here. 120 to play, trailing by two, 47-45. Hammond to Whiting, Whiting top of the key here. Off of a screen, Mosley wanted it. Now Hammond's got it right side, outside of the three line. Puts it on the floor, Hammond, strong drive to the basket, up with the left hand, will not go. Offensive rebound, Love, and he's fouled on the way to the basket, and he'll shoot a pair. A chance to tie the game. One minute, one second left. First shot coming up for Jovan. Missed it badly. And missed the second as well. Mm -mm -mm. The Golden Lions have missed a lot of free throws here tonight. Under a minute to go, 50 seconds and counting. Alabama a in with the ball, leading by two, 47-45. Shot clock at 20. Your APB doesn't need the foul. They need a defensive stop here. Davis needs some help. Maybe a five-second call. Can't get it. Five on the shot clock. Fade away three, no good. And Hammond gets the rebound and then gets it stolen away. Mm -mm -mm. Now you're going to have to foul. And had a chance there, and Hammond had it, and then got it stripped. Stripped away and turned it over. 19 seconds left to the foul line. And still, you're going to have to keep fouling at least one more time to get the one and one. Because they only have 16 fouls. A&M's only got five. Merriweather checking in for Tab, I believe. Whiting is going to check out. Love will check out. And give up some fouls here is what they're thinking probably as Robinson and McIntyre in. And you got a quicker lineup to try to get a steal right here. The defensive pressure. And UAPB trying to get a steal. And Colvin now is going to be fouled with just under 18 seconds left. And to the line, Justin Colvin. 47-45, two-point lead. And Colvin. Trying to give his team a three-point lead here. One and one makes the first one. One more coming up. For Colvin, this make it a two-possession game. And missed it. Hanley Jr. the rebound. Trying to bring it up. Hanley Jr. is going to go all the way with it. Lay it up off the glass, score it in one. And Hanley Jr. has got a chance for a three-point play. And the Golden Lions, with 11.6 seconds left, have a chance to tie the game here. As Hanley didn't waste no time, he went from cup to cup there. Grabbed the rebound, then went all the way to the other end. Got the layup, fouled. And a huge free throw coming up right here for Thaddeus Hanley, Jr. 
6 6 junior from Pine Bluff. Chance to tie it. Here we go. And he got it. It bounced off the front of the rim, hit the back of the rim, and then fell through and good for a little bit of drama there. And we are tied at 48. Time out on the floor with 11.6 seconds left. Could we be headed to another overtime? The Lady Lions defeated Lady Bulldogs in overtime in the first of the doubleheader tonight. And could be looking at another one here. 11.6 seconds left. On a long night of basketball here at the Hyper. Go mid court, five seconds left. Now, right side of the floor, they're gonna call a block. They're gonna call a blocking foul, and they're gonna get a one and one with three seconds left. Mm, mm, mm. Hanley Jr. slow to get up, too, gingerly favoring that right leg. Three seconds left. Tied at 48 into the foul line. Timeout called by George Ivory. Wow. It could have been a charge. It could have been a no call. They call a block instead. to the line here, tied at 48. And he missed it. Ball's loose and out of bounds with a 1.5 to go. And timeout called by A&M. Out of bounds off of Hammond. He had the rebound on the miss. with 1.5 seconds left. Alabama A&M will have a chance here after the timeout to draw one more play to win it. If not, we're going to overtime. Exciting game. And Colvin missed the free throw. UAPB looked like they were gonna have the rebound and then lost it out of bounds.
So here we go. 1.5 seconds remaining. Tied at 48, UAPB and Alabama A&M. As we are just about set to inbound it here. Now a little tussle for position here. So here we go for the win. Colvin hit it at the buzzer. Are you kidding me? Colvin hits the jumper at the buzzer, and Alabama A&M comes into Pine Bluff and steals one here on the road. Justin Colvin at the buzzer hits it, and Alabama A&M has just knocked off UAPB by a score of 51-48 in thrilling fashion with a Colvin jumper at the buzzer. Wow. That was a thriller, but another heartbreaking loss, and another loss by three for UAPB. And they got beat by a three. And now a little push and shoving going on here after the game, and you definitely don't need none of that. You see enough of this on the football field at times, but anyway, that's going to do it for us. Let me get my list here of our great crew, if I can. Randy Kelly, Shelly Roby Ingram, William Lawson, and Archie Howard. And for Finley Hill back in the studio, I'm Tim Stubbs saying so long from the hyper, but a heartbreaking loss for the Golden Lions at the buzzer as Alabama A&M wins it 51-48. So long, go Lions.